All I'm trying to do right now is go into my chicken yard <laughs> and Philippe does not want me to come in. Oh my gosh. I've had so many people ask me, why do you keep this rooster? And I know that most people would have eaten him by now. <laughs> but I haven't done that, have I, Philippe? I've been good to you, Philippe. Stop it, Philippe. Do not attack me. Okay, I'm finally in and he totally wants to attack me right now. Hey guys, welcome to Chickenlandia. I am a backyard chicken educator here in the Pacific Northwest, but you can call me the president of Chickenlandia. I want to say it was about five years ago. I decided one day to post a little video and all it was was like this update of these two baby chickens that I was moving outside with the flock. And one of them was Pop-Tart. She's a little Japanese bantam that I have. And the other one was Philippe. Philippe was so cute when I got him. And I even have a video of him crowing when he's like a tiny little chicken. <laughs> He was just so cute. And I had originally gotten him and Pop-Tart because I had a little sick chick that I was trying to nurse back to health and she needed company. And they helped to keep her company while I was trying to nurse her back to health. And I was following what I call the sick chick protocol. And I'll tell you about that later. It's just this uh, protocol that I put together for if you have a, a chick that's just not doing very well. Oh my God, it's windy. Ah, <laughs> it's so windy. <laughs> One of the things about the sick chick protocol is you have to get a syringe and put uh, some egg in it and put some electrolyte water in it and some green tea in it. And you feed that with a syringe to the baby chick. And when Philippe saw me feeding the sick chick with it, he wanted some, so he would come up and I would feed him with the syringe and it was so sweet. And to this day, Philippe loves eating from the syringe when he's not attacking me. So it, it really is true that chickens can be very smart when it comes to food. <laughs> So unfortunately, when Philippe turned about six months old, all of a sudden those hormones really kicked in and he started to attack me. Ah, stop! And I even made like this Halloween horror video about it. Like, <laughs> I mean, this was when my channel was very young. It's a super cringy video, but it's funny because I was just like trying to make light of the fact that Philippe was always attacking me. But, you know, behind the scenes, I was like, this isn't okay. Like, I can't have this in my flock. It's really annoying. I mean, he's little, he's not a big chicken. If he were a big chicken, it would be a big problem. It's not funny when a big, huge chicken attacks somebody and especially a little kid, it, it can be a big problem and it can traumatize somebody. But Philippe is little, so it's not that big of a deal. So what I talk about in that Halloween video is that I had decided that I was going to rehome him and because it had just gotten so bad. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna take him to my friend who is known for rehabilitating roosters. I'm gonna take him there, I'm gonna rehome him, which I very rarely do in Chickenlandia. And at the last minute, I looked at his evil beady little eyes and I couldn't do it. I could not give him away. So here he is still attacking me every day. <laughs> So that's actually not the end of Philippe's story. He actually has a, a, a story with a lot of ups and downs. That first winter that I had him, he came down with a fairly severe respiratory illness and he was like gasping, he was like gurgling. Um, I really thought he wasn't gonna make it. So I was able to nurse him back to health. I had the help of a homeopath, our family homeopath, and I thought that was gonna be the end of it, but it wasn't. It turns out that whatever Philippe is suffering from is chronic. So that following uh, spring, he actually ended up with a really compacted nair. I was shooting a video and all of a sudden I noticed it and his face was like really swollen. So I'd take him to the vet and the vet was like, you need to put him under anesthesia so that we can get this, you know, this mass out of his nair 
because it just, you know, sometimes chickens will get a mass in their nair and it can be easily pulled out, but this was just not going in anywhere. It was like cemented in there. It was really causing a problem. And I know that anesthesia for birds is very serious. You have to really weigh the benefits and the risks because putting a bird under, you know, it can, it can kill them. So, you know, we put him on antibiotics he improved a lot, all that swelling went down. He still had the mass, but I was like, you know what? I really just don't want to risk losing him earlier than I might if I just let him go on and live his best life for as long as we have him. So at that point I made a decision not to have him put under anesthesia so that the mass could be removed. And he was doing pretty well for a while. The following spring, once again, I came out into the chicken yard and Philippe's face was so swollen. And it just, I, I mean, it was grotesque and it, it just like happened overnight. I had not, he looked normal. And then one morning I went out there, he's right here. <laughs> Do not get me Philippe. And I had decided not to put him under anesthesia. And in that moment I was like, I can't just let him die now. I'm gonna take him to have this operation. So I drove to the vet, dropped him off. The vet somehow, without putting him under anesthesia, because he knew how much of a risk it was, he somehow got that mask, that mass out of Philippe's nair. And Philippe almost died for, because it was just so like, it was so impacted, it was very traumatic. And he told me that Philippe was like, <gasps> and then they gave him oxygen and he just like bounced back and then he was like crowing and trying to attack them. <laughs> Are those your ladies, Philippe? <laughs> you know, even with all of this in mind, you might still ask like, why do I keep him? And I just think that there are people in our lives that they're kind of like puppies and <laughs> and they might drive you nuts and you might get really mad at them. But for some reason, you can't stay mad at them for that long. And Philippe kind of represents that to me. He is a real pain, but I absolutely love him. And when he's gone, Chickenlandia is not gonna be the same. So I told you that I was gonna tell you all about this sick chick protocol and I did not lie. You can learn about it by clicking right here. It might save your baby chicks. It's 100% friendly backyard chickens education and entertainment. And I know that you're gonna love it. Isn't that right, Philippe? He's right here and wants to get me. 